free web-based version of PowerPoint is available on Office.com. Once you create a free account on Office.com platform, all you need to do to create new PowerPoint is click on the plus sign and create new presentation. User interface of the web-based PowerPoint is very similar to traditional desktop-based PowerPoint application, and you have access to a lot of different templates available in the right part of the screen. An alternative way to get access to free version of PowerPoint is using OneDrive.com. When you create new OneDrive account or use your existing OneDrive account, you can create new presentation by navigating to New section and clicking PowerPoint presentation. A web-based interface of PowerPoint in the browser allows you to access about 80% of the features and capability of the paid desktop-based application. And you can even switch to traditional ribbon interface by selecting an option in the upper right corner. In addition to ability to create new documents and access to core editing features in PowerPoint Online, you can upload and edit existing documents. For example, to upload an existing PowerPoint slide, you need to click Upload an Open Document in the upper right corner of the Office.com homepage or select an Upload option in OneDrive.com. The slide was created using PowerPoint Desktop. Let's take a look at its appearance in the web-based version of PowerPoint. As you can see, web-based application preserved all the features of the original slide and allows me to access image portion of the file as well as edit the text as necessary. One of the cool features, which is available on the free online web-based version of PowerPoint, is shared editing real-time, which is called co-authoring of PowerPoint presentation. Through the power of technology, we can simulate editing of the same PowerPoint slide by multiple people. You have the same presentation opened by user 1 on the left and user 2 on the right. When user 2 will make changes to PowerPoint presentation, the changes will instantly appear on the left for user 1. And you can even see who is making the changes. This is very useful and helpful, for example, if you are on a phone call and people making changes to the document at the same time. In addition to being able to create and edit PowerPoint presentations, you can also download, print, and convert the documents in various different formats. Save as option in the file menu on the ribbon allows you to download copy in PPTX format, as well as download PDF file, ODP format, as well as download every slide as an image. Even though you have access to about 80% of the desktop-based functionality of PowerPoint on the web-based version, there are some differences between two versions of the application. For example, we are looking at the same slide in the web-based application on the left and in the desktop application on the right. And even though you can include audio MP3 files into your PowerPoint presentation by navigating to Insert tab and selecting Media, in the web-based version of the application, this option is not available and the only media you can include is online video. If you share the desktop-based file in OneDrive, you can see the version history of people making changes by clicking on the title of the document. Unfortunately, this functionality is not available in the web-based version. Slide Master functionality, which is available if you navigate to the View tab in the desktop-based version and click on the Slide Master, is only available in the desktop-based version and not available in PowerPoint Online. Among other differences is the fact that you cannot customize shortcuts, have limited functionality for smart art and adding charts, do not have access to compressed pictures, and have limited functionality for animations and transitions in the web-based version. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Vadim Michalenka and I have MBA and Master's degree in Computer Science. Most of my career I worked as a consultant helping companies implement solutions. I learned a lot of technologies throughout my career, but more importantly, I developed a methodology how to learn new skills, which I would like to share with you as part of my videos. I also work as an educator in the community college, helping people to learn technology and find jobs. I started online training for everyone to share the knowledge and help people to reach their goals faster. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. To better understand why free version of Microsoft Office is better for some scenarios, let's understand the typical document creation and editing workflow. 
Typically, there is a very important co-authoring document steps in document workflow. You might start by creating a new document or editing an existing document. But a lot of times you might be required to co-author a document with other people. Co-authoring means that you might send a link to other people and ask them to edit your document. You typically do it by using the shared feature in Office documents or copying the link and sending it directly via email. Co-authoring of the document is much more effective when you have one shared copy of the document and multiple people have access to this shared copy and can make edits. Having a single copy of the document in the cloud makes the step of co-authoring documents much more effective using the free version of Microsoft Office. In the past, typical setup of Microsoft Office was on the desktop. User can access desktop-based applications that were locally installed. Users would save the document into the local storage. And in some cases, the network server might have been created, which could be used to store backup copies of the document. Over time, people realized that in order to create high-quality document, you need to get feedback from other people. Concept of co-authoring was introduced, and software vendors, including Microsoft, started adding features to make co-authoring much easier. An example of co-authoring might be editing revisions of the document, having multiple people work on a student project, or work on the high-quality creative work. The entire review tab was introduced in Microsoft Office documents, which allowed you to track changes, accept or reject changes from other people, and compare multiple documents. Let me give you a couple reasons why you might consider subscribing to online training for everyone. State-of-the-art skills, tips, tricks, and techniques we share with you here on online training for everyone will help you today and in the future. We use scientifically proven methodology to create videos that will help you learn faster and retain more materials. When you click the subscribe button now, you will become connected and will be the first one to receive automatic notifications when new video is released. But in the old model, you still required to share the document with other user, them making the changes, and then you going through the process of accepting and rejecting the changes. When Microsoft introduced storing documents on SharePoint as a central platform, it was a great idea, but SharePoint, unfortunately, never took off. And this technology was only accepted by the businesses. For a very long time, the only version of co-authoring for multiple people to edit the document was sharing the copy of the document on the local network. In this model, one user can create or edit documents, put them onto the shared local drive, notify another user, and then another user using similar desktop-based configuration would go ahead and edit, would review the changes, and provide suggestions for the documents that they were co-authoring. This was a great innovation back then, but the configuration required Office to be installed on user's device, device to be connected to the local network, and files shared over the network, either wired or wireless local network. Over the years, the dominant position that Microsoft Office established in document editing was challenged by free cloud-based platforms. Google created a free version of Office in the cloud, which allowed user to create an equivalent of any type of the Office file. At no cost, you can create a document in Google Docs, and suddenly users have access to free sophisticated editing capabilities. Please make sure to check out available downloads in the description section of this video. In addition to cloud-based challenge, over the years people started using mobile devices more and more and started demanding features of Microsoft Office right on the mobile smartphones or tablets. Over the years, this challenged the dominant position of Microsoft Office in document editing, and the product started slowly losing market share. The new reality was the huge popularity of mobile devices, variety of different platforms on the desktop and mobile, as well as the competition from Google and Apple, forced Microsoft to rethink their cloud strategy. One of their biggest challenges was the question, how can you support the sophisticated and rich desktop-based environment, provide access and allow users to create and edit Microsoft Office documents on smartphones and tablets, as well as respond to challengers that only require the browser for Office document editing. This is how Office.com platform was created. This platform has Office applications for the browsers installed right in the cloud which allows browser-based access to office.com. 
you can use any modern browser like Chrome, Edge, which is Chromium based, Safari, Firefox or others to access and edit Microsoft Office documents. Documents could be stored in the cloud on the OneDrive storage as well as locally on the desktop in the file system for your laptop or desktop as well as locally on the mobile devices. Desktop users, mobile users or browser users can co-author documents at the same time. And the coolest feature above all is that Office.com browser-based platform is free. And the only thing you need to start taking advantage of this platform is your browser. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.